What's up everybody, JP here, and this is going to be my review of Class of 1999. Uh, this film was released in the year 1990. It has a tagline of, Hired to Teach, Program to Kill. Um, now, Class of 1999, I actually have seen before, but I, I didn't realize it. Um, I got it in this 8-pack here um, with uh, you know a bunch of other films, and I was kind of looking at some of the ones I had I thought that I hadn't seen before. Um, Class of 1999 looked really familiar. It was one of those cases where um, you have like memories of certain scenes from when you was a kid, um, and uh, you always kind of remembered them, but you have no idea what film it was from, and then you stumble across it. It's always fun when that happens, and it kind of makes you, uh, you know, if it, it feels kind of nostalgic to, uh, like, oh yeah, I remember this one. Um, it was one of those cases, which was pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, I, I watched it. I really didn't remember anything about it. Um, and this is going to be the review, I guess. Um, Class of 1999 is kind of a sequel to Class of 1984, but it's, you know, not directly connected. It's, uh, you know, similar story, um, you know, similar idea, I guess, but it, in a different way. It's directed by the same guy, but it really doesn't have anything that directly connects them. Um, so, I don't know if it's really a sequel. Uh, I guess it kind of is. Um, anyway, the film is similar uh, to 1984. Um you have a, it's set in the future um this one's more horror sci-fi actiony um than the first one um this this one's kind of more action and sci-fi but there's some horror in there too um anyway let's finally get into the story kind of rambling um it's set in the future there's these cyborgs that uh, i guess the military is testing out so they decide to test them in the schools and once again these schools are overpopulated uh... you know infested with gang activity violence all kind of crazy stuff um, you know these kids are walking around with uh... you know mp5s and uzis and other you know fully automatic <laughs> submachine guns uh... the schools try to regulate them and um... you know uh... you must hand in your uh... Uh, guns before you go into the classrooms and stuff crazy stuff but uh, you know obviously it's it's a little unrealistic but it's kinda supposed to be it's when the world is you know dying basically and everything's just going to shit um, it, you kinda have to check your brain at the door a little bit it's not a uh, super serious movie um, so yeah they send in these uh, cyborgs that are uh, you know supposed to crack the whip on these kids and uh, you know get everything back in line but these cyborgs uh, kind of are taking it a bit far and they're starting to you know uh, first they just start punishing the students then they uh, you know actually kill the students uh, meanwhile you have your main character who just got out of jail um, he lives with his like brothers or his brother or something and his family all drug addicts uh, with some kind of futuristic drug forget what it's called um, but you know turns them into pretty much like fiends and stuff so um, he's trying to cope with that. He meets this chick at school, kind of a good girl almost. Uh, it's the daughter of the principal. Um, he's trying to, uh, you know, talk to her or whatever. Plus, he's involved with uh, this other. He used to be a gang member. He got that going on and stuff. And then you have these uh, crazy ass teacher cyborg things. Plus, you got a few familiar faces in here. You have uh, Malcolm McDowell, and you have Pam Greer. Uh, she plays one of the cyborg teachers. Um, overall, I just kind of like this movie. It, it's it's you know kind of cheesy and and uh, you know not a very super well made movie or anything. Definitely a B movie, um, but it, it's fun to me for some reason. I kind of like just the cyborg teacher kind of thing and uh, the futuristic, uh, really unrealistic um, way the world is in this film. And uh, you know, you got a, a few deaths and stuff, and uh, it, and it kind of gets terminatory towards the end. You know, a bad terminatory, uh, but it. It's whatever. I kind of just enjoyed looking, seeing this movie again. I just had a lot of fun with it. Um, it's definitely not a super good movie or anything. Class of 1984 is probably a better movie, uh, but I just like this one a little bit more. Um, you know, felt more uh, horror-ish uh, a little bit. Um, it's fun. It, it's a cool movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. There's not a whole lot to really say about it. Um, so I'll probably just leave it at that. I'd probably rate this one a 3 out of 5 also. 
Um, it's uh, it, it, I liked it a little bit more than Class of 1984, but it's still about a 3 out of 5. Um, keep this review pretty short, and uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. See you guys later.